Hey guys, this is Jerry. So, I wanted to do a very special episode for you guys because I realized that the original video got taken down. The whole channel got taken down by YouTube, so it's really sad. He actually, I will link you to his new channel and he re uploaded this, but since it's not the original viral video, it's harder for you guys to find the original. I wanted to pay tribute to this and I've thought about this and I wanted to add a few things that the original video didn't address. So, this is called the crazy hot matrix, also known as the hot crazy matrix. I call it the crazy hot matrix because crazy is on the y axis, hot is on the x axis. And basically, it's a guide, it's a normative guide, as in, this is not supposed to represent the population of women, but it's just a normative guide, as in, this is what you should do, what ought to happen if you want to look for a mate, if you want to look for a woman in your life. So this is aimed for men. If you want to see the version for how women respond to men, I've done a version of that, so you guys can look at that. So the first thing to emphasize is that you don't want to just have one or two data points here. People are not the same every day. So what you want to do in the most optimal situation is to gather a bunch of data points. See, okay, where does the female cluster herself normally? You know, maybe occasionally she might be up here. Sometimes she might be here. And then you take an average or you take a... You can do an average, you can do a maximum, minimum, you just figure out a way to determine, okay, what's the likelihood of her being in these zones? So that's another thing that Dana McClendon, the creator of this, emphasized. He didn't really emphasize it, but I'm emphasizing it for him. Remember, gather a few data points first. So if you go out on one date with her, you have one interaction with her, you think she's here, that's not enough. You need to have more interactions with her. So now that we've established that, I will very quickly go through this. Dana McClendon does it way better than I will ever do, but I will attempt to very quickly summarize his hot crazy matrix or crazy hot matrix. So we start out with the two axes, the crazy axes and the hot axes. Honestly, there's no women that are zero hot, but it's just for the sake of a little origin, you have zero. So zero to 10, right? She's a 10. We normally don't say things like this woman's a 20 or this woman's a 100. We usually go from zero to 10. And again, remember, this is not representative, right? So we're not saying the population is always averaging here or here. We don't know. It differs by region. It differs by country, etc. Now, crazy, what Dana McClendon said is that there's Crazy actually goes starts at a four and goes up to ten because there's no woman that's below a four in crazy. So a woman, because she's emotional, is always going to have a little bit of crazy in her. That's why it starts at ten. That's why I drew this little squiggly in statistics. This means we're just gonna we're just gonna eliminate this part. So four to ten is the range for crazy in a woman. Professor Dana McClendon advises men to not go for any type of woman that in your mind, as in, in your subjective mind, there are some objective standards to beauty, but beauty is, I would say, 60 to 80% subjective. So in your mind, if she's a five or below, this is, the, this is why it's a no-go zone. Just don't even worry about any woman. It doesn't matter her craziness. Just don't go for any woman that's below a five and hot. Now, let's explain this line first. This is what, what he calls the crazy line. Now, you want to stick below the crazy line at all times, so we will explain the crazy line in a second, but this is, it's not really a 45 degree line because it starts at four instead of zero. If it started at zero, went up to 10, it would be a 45 degree line, so I can't do the math in my head. I don't know what degree line this is, but this is not a 45 degree line. Basically, what you have to remember is this line tells you, all right, don't ever go for up there. So let us then go up there for a second. If you go beyond a five and hot, and you go above the crazy line, this is what's called the danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. This is the zone where Dana McClendon says, she's obviously good looking, she's better than a five, but she's a little too crazy for how good looking she is. So what's gonna happen is, you could end up in jail, your car could get keyed, if you break up, she might try to turn your family, your friends against you. You might end up with a bunny in a pot. That's what Dana McClendon said. Um, if you guys don't know that reference, that's from Basic, no, not Basic Instinct, Fatal Attraction. Those two movies both star Michael Douglas, so sometimes I get them confused. But Fatal Attraction and 
That's Glenn Close's character. She puts Michael Douglas's bunny in a pot. And Dan McClendon very famously said, this is for strippers, your hairdressers, any girl named Tiffany. <laughs> I don't know why he said Tiffany, but sure, why not, <laughs> Tiffany. I actually do know a Tiffany, and I don't think she's in here. I don't know. Anyways, so that's your danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. Always be careful. Again, take a bunch of data points. You know, sometimes, maybe once in a while, she's up here. I think for me, that's enough to avoid her, but maybe some of you once in a while in the danger zone is fine if she's usually here or usually here. Highway to the danger zone. So let's go below the crazy line. So in between a five hot and an eight hot and below the crazy line is what you call the fun zone. This is a zone you can hang out here indefinitely is what Dana McClendon says. You know, it's, it's fun to date these women, but they're not optimal. And uh, you want to strive better, right? This is the zone maybe in high school and college you can hang out. But after that, if you're really looking to get married, right? I think Dana McClendon put this chart graph together because he wanted to teach men how to find better wives. So ultimately you want this, right? If you just want to be single all your life, then I guess you could technically hang out here, but always protect yourself. So now we're going to explore what happens if you're below the crazy curve and the woman you're looking at or dating or whatever or into is above an eight in hot. So if she's above an eight in hot and she's about six or above below the crazy line when it comes to crazy, you want to, it's okay to date her. This is beyond the fun zone. It's this is the type of woman, according to Dana McClendon, you might even introduce her to your family, you might even introduce her to your friends, etc. It's still not optimal. And what the ultimate, optimal, normative, idealistic range you want to get to is this part right here, which is what Dana McClendon calls the wife zone. It's in between a five and a six and crazy in the woman, and she's above an eight and hot. So if you can find a woman that's above an eight and hot, and sticking as close to five as possible and crazy, you found a good wife. So what is this zone, you ask? This zone, Dana McClendon very jokingly calls it the unicorn zone. Basically, they don't exist. You can't find a woman that's above an eight and hot and below a five and crazy. Because again, we've established that no woman is below a four and crazy, but if she gets too hot, she can't get below a five and crazy. So that's what Dana McClendon says. This is the unicorn zone, they don't exist. Now what's this zone? Dana McClendon very humorously said, sometimes some guy might try to contradict you and say, yeah, but I met this girl, she was chill, man. I could swear she's only two or three and crazy and she was hot. Well, this is called a tranny. You're talking to a dude. You're talking to a guy who had either surgery or maybe he's just dressed real nice and dressed like a girl, but that's, you're not talking to a woman right there. That's what Dana McClendon said. So this is basically his original Crazy Hot Matrix. All credit goes to him, and I'm going to provide some of my critique, and I hope to make this even more clear, and I hope to update this for everyone James Yeager, Dan McClendon, I love you guys. And what's going to follow is not necessarily criticism. It's just my interpretation. All I want to do is help men understand the situation more. So let's keep going. So the first thing I'm going to critique from this crazy hot or hot crazy matrix is the unicorn zone. See, Dana McClendon says they don't exist. But what I'm going to qualify is they actually do exist. But... It's seasonal. So I don't want to call this the unicorn zone. I want to call this the summer zone or the autumn zone or the spring zone. There are women, maybe for a few months, maybe for a few days, maybe for a few weeks, they are legitimately in the zone where they're below a five and crazy, above a four and crazy, but they're really hot. So Remember what Dana McClendon said about you have to gather a bunch of sample sizes, right? A woman can be here and then bam, she, she'll be here. This zone is very temporary, but it is possible. In fact, it is even possible to go down here, etc. So that's the first thing I disagree with him. Even let's say you gather 20 data points, you determine she's up here. 
in five years, in 10 years, things could change. She could end up here, she could end up here, she could end up here. So honestly, none of this is constant. Even if you take a good sample of interactions slash her responses to stimulus, etc. So with that being said, it is possible. It's just the, the more you go down here, the fewer and fewer chances slash length you're going to have anyone spend down here. So that's what I'm going to say. And in fact, it's a danger if you meet someone here knowing it's a ticking time bomb and it might end up up here, might end up here. So in a way, saying that it doesn't exist here is bad because knowing how guys are, they're going to meet their naywalls, their unicorns, whatever. I don't want to use the word unicorns. It sounds weird. You know, dating a unicorn. In Chinese culture, a unicorn is the lawgiver. A unicorn is the very moral person. So when, when I hear unicorn, that's how I think. Of course, when Americans think unicorn, they might think unicorn, Barbie rides unicorn, or my little pony, Rainbow Dash, or something like that. So they might not interpret unicorn the same way I interpret unicorn, but when I think unicorn, it's, ooh, lawgiver. The word in Chinese for fa, as in the word in Chinese for law, in ancient times, on the right side was the word unicorn, and the left side was the word water. So the way the unicorn flows, I guess, but so that's why I don't like the word unicorn zone for this area. But just remember, it is possible. It is even possible down here. But the more you go down here, the ticking time bomb will just slide it back somewhere here or slide it this way. Highway to the danger zone. The next thing I'm going to critique is this zone down here. You see, and I'm just speaking empirically from Chinese history, there actually are women down here that are below a four and crazy. They're not very attractive, but instead of being angry and bitter and crazy about the fact that they're not very attractive, they devote their life to other things. China's most famous historical figure named Zhuge Liang, he was the most famous tactician, most famous general, most famous statesman. He's the most celebrated ancient figure in China. And his wife was down here. His wife, from all accounts, was not the best to look at. She was not the best to look at at all. So she was definitely below a five and hot. But she contributed more to him than a lot of people realize. So around the time when Zhuge Liang was commanding the troops, he invented the world's first semi-automatic weapon. Basically, the crossbows that were invented in China, his wife helped him take the crossbow and make it rapid fire. So instead of having to fire, chamber, another arrow, and fire again, somehow they managed to figure out a way to have a cartridge of crossbow arrows. So instead of, so you would just literally like a semi-automatic gun. Bam, 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 bam. And that was not the only invention that she helped him invent. Zhuge Liang basically always commanded troops that were outnumbered, but he still managed to win most of the time. And part of it was he and his generals were brilliant. Um, big shout out to Zhao Yun, who was probably his most trusted general. But part of it was he had all this great technological innovation that in many cases were helped, if not initiated, by his wife. So, depends on what you want in life. If you want a family or you want beautiful children, maybe this is a no-go zone. But Zhuge Liang, his goal in life was to help who he thought was the rightful ruler of China get back all the lands that were lost to a usurper. So for him, going for a woman down here was actually a good decision for him. I don't know. For my analysis, it was maybe he secretly had affairs too and he secretly didn't like her. But we never know, right? He's been dead for more than 2,000 years. Of course, I get what Dana McClendon is saying, which is how can you guarantee that someone here is not actually someone here? So you might as well go for someone 
hotter because at least you get to experience how it is with someone hotter, right? It's, it's more better for your biology to get with someone hotter. You feel better in every way in your mind. But just to let you know, potentially there are women down here. If you can determine they're not crazy, that crazy, maybe they're worth it. And maybe Karen Strawn's actually someone down here. And I'm, I'm sorry, Karen Strawn. doesn't change. I respect you a lot, but I just don't find you very attractive. But Karen Strawn's awesome. Like Karen Strawn, you listen to her, you learn so much. She is awesome. And she's not very good looking, but I don't think she's she's even a foreign crazy. Potentially, you could put Eleanor Roosevelt down here. Franklin Delano Roosevelt's wife. She was definitely nothing to look at. And she helped... America. She, she was the best first lady to have during World War II next to FDR's side. Although FDR spent most of his time with his mistress. But Eleanor Roosevelt was like the female face of America. And she did quite a good job. She, she really helped America during those years in the Depression and then during World War II. So maybe Eleanor Roosevelt's down here too. So this, these are three maybe counterfactuals or counterexamples to give some thought or justification as to maybe why the no-go zone isn't as big as what Dana McClendon says. And here's the final thing I disagree with Professor McClendon on, and that's his assessment of the date zone. For a woman that's above an eight and hot and above a six and crazy, he's saying, you know, these are women you date, they're not optimal, but you might still introduce them to your family and your friends. Well, I'm gonna say, do not introduce them to your family and your friends because they're not in the optimal zone, right? So it's not like they're gonna move down here. So the only place they can move is this way. Highway to the danger zone. So since they're in the date zone, right? They're not in the marriage zone. Once you break up with her and she moves here, now she knows your family and your friends. It's gonna be awkward and very likely, you know what they do up here. They might try to turn your family and your friends against you and they might succeed because they're up here in hotness and they're up here in craziness, part of craziest scheming. So that's the thing I want to warn everyone who is the fan of the original Hot Crazy Matrix. Unless she's here or unless she thinks she's here, don't introduce her to your friends and your family unless it's necessary. And then of course, for anyone who just enjoys being single, maybe instead of thinking about all this and saying, oh yeah, sh sh is she here? When is she gonna go here? Uh, should I introduce this person or this person to my friends? How about just enjoy your single life and make an impact on this world in other ways? It's all your choice. It's a free country, do what you want. But so this was the Hot Crazy Matrix, and this was my critique slash my updates, etc. And I thank you guys so much for watching. If you're a man, what type of woman have you normally ended up with? What type of woman do you seek? What type of woman turned you on? Did I say anything that was wrong? Am I completely an idiot? If you're a woman, where are you honestly in this? Is there anything else I'm missing, etc.? And for everyone else watching, thank you so much. Please press a like, leave a comment, press subscribe, etc. I will talk to you guys soon. Highway to the danger zone.